What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 121 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. Our special guest this week is going to be PC-centric, showing off his gaming setup behind the channel, and if you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off episode 121. All right, first we have Hockey, and he was actually on a long, long time ago, and I'm sure you remember his six crazy monitors here. This is uh, definitely an insane looking gaming setup, so let's check it out. All six of those are a Samsung 24 inch display. And for the mounting process here, and considering all the cables he's got going on, everything is very well managed, so good job on the organization. And of course, to add to the overall aesthetic of the room, got RGB lighting behind it to really, you know, accent it and uh, just really make the wallpaper whenever you're doing or gaming pop. It also has that light strip above the setup, which is really going to give it that overall flair. So the RGB game is also locked down here. And I like how he actually has the wallpaper spanned across all three of the displays. Now as for his peripherals, he has the Cooler Master Master Keys S keyboard with cherry brown switches inside, along with the SteelSeries Rival 300 mouse with the Razer Kraken 7.1 V2 headset. And it's got the SteelSeries mouse on their very own SteelSeries Quick mouse pad. And another cool thing about his setup is he actually has a projector on the other side of the room, kind of hidden in these cabinets. So he can pull down in front of those six displays a projection screen and either watch movies, TV, or even game on there if he wants. So, I mean, this guy's just got everything screen related on lockdown. And this projector is from Acer and it is a full 1080p projector. And I assume that's got to be at least like 80 inches. So, damn. Then into his PC powering this whole thing, inside his Fractal Design Define R4 case is an i7-8700K CPU with a Noctua SE2 cooler, 16 gigs of Ballistic Sport RAM on an Asus Prime Z370P motherboard, and a GTX Titan X graphics card with 12 gigs of VRAM. But also keep in mind he's not going to be using all six of those screens to game at. As you can see here, he has the bottom three set up for the whole iFinity or the surround sound gaming, whatever you want to call it. So he could still have those top three for browsing the internet, monitoring anything, and still game comfortably with these three bottom screens. This is just the matrix, man. So good job, Hockey. This is definitely killer. It's not too often we see more than four displays, let alone six plus a projector. So good job for that. Your uh, setup is definitely uh, pretty badass. Now is Darian with a bit of a different sort of gaming setup here, using three TVs to complete his gaming setup. That is one in the middle, a 40 inch TV with a 23 inch and a 24 inch TV on each side. That middle one there is from Philips, like I said, 40 inches, and the two 23 and 24 inches on the outside are from RCA. But of course, with the RGB backlighting behind it, it's still gonna pop and shine and look pretty cool. And a good job mounting again, because you know, there's no cables hanging down. It's a nice clean mount, good stuff. So for his peripherals on a nice white extended mouse pad, he has a Havit Magic Eagle RGB keyboard with a black web wireless mouse. Not too much info on that. But for a secondary peripheral, he also has an Xbox One controller. And then for audio on each side of his desk are speakers from JVC. And of course, the iconic IKEA plant. Then as for his PC, inside the Thermaltake Versa H15 case is an Intel i3-7100 CPU on a Gigabyte GAH100MA motherboard, 8 gigs of Crucial Ballistic Sport RAM, and an EVGA GTX 760 graphics card. Which altogether, all things considered, is definitely a pretty decent PC on a lower end scale. I mean, like probably around 400, 450 max. Probably get some decent frames on modern games as well. Good stuff. And again, I always gotta compliment people when they do this, but matching the RGB lights to the color of their wallpaper. And again, he has it spanned across all three for this nice landscape. Who's texting me? So the RGB light strip complements it well. Got a little salt lamp even going on. Looking real chill. Then next is TechBlock with his triple monitor gaming setup, going with an all black and kind of RGB theme with his racer themed wallpapers too. So first, all three of those monitors are from Asus. They're 24 inches or 23.8 inches if you want to be exact. And they're all lined up nicely on an EZM Deluxe triple monitor mount. As for his peripherals, his latest addition is the new Hyperflux from Razer, which is the Mamba Hyperflux and the Firefly Hyperflux, going along already with his Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard. 
definitely keeping it in-house here. You can see the whole Razer theme going on. And one thing I'm a big fan of is the Amazon Echo Spot. I picked this up recently. I'm loving it. It's got it right there on the side of his desk, and it makes a, a nice addition here, I think. And then for audio on his desktop is the Sound Blaster X Katana. It is the uh, subwoofer itself along with the RGB soundbar. So again, definitely fitting in with the whole RGB color theme he has going on with the rest of his Chroma products. Now we're going to check out his PC and inside the NZXT H700i case is an Intel i7-4770 CPU with the Corsair H110i V2 AIO. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM along with the EVGA GTX 970 graphics card and of course the NZXT Hue Plus to give it that integrated, you know, the, the RGB lighting inside definitely complements the white and black look of the H700i case. So definitely looking good and all together for a triple monitor gaming setup. This is looking pretty damn nice and you do the RGB well here, tying it all together nicely. Tech block, my man, good stuff. And then we have Gilbert here, and you guys, you know I love these. Has that nice uh, Alex drawers with the Carlby desktop. Looking real nice and natural. And the mix of, you know, the tungsten lighting. Yeah, I see that Tommen's desk lamp. I have it on my setup as well. I showed it off in a Top Deck Under 50 episode. I see you, man. It mixes well with your bright PC and the RGB light strip behind your desk. So as for those two monitors, which have very minimal bezels, and uh, once they're together, it looks pretty nice. Those two are the Dell U2414H, so about 24 inches a piece. They're lined up perfectly. Now as for the peripherals, which are on a very nice extended mouse pad here from the glorious uh, gaming master race, or whatever that company's name is. <laughs> He has the Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire keyboard going along with the Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse. And then for audio, he could switch it up. He has either his HyperX Cloud 2 headset, or if he wants to, you know, just blast it throughout the room, underneath his monitors is a sound bar. It's the JBL SB350. And then moving on over to the PC, I spied the NZXT S340 Elite case in white. Inside an Intel i7-4790K CPU with 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM in white and an MSI GTX 970 GPU. And as expected, the NZXT Hue Plus to give his PC that flashy RGB lighting, which is, you know, just killer. And then of course you got the NZXT Puck on the front as well. But altogether, Gilbert, as a setup, it comes together really nicely. It's nice and organized. I love the natural wooden desktop to go along with the lamp. And with those two monitors side by side with a thin bezel, I'm sure there's no better feeling than at the end of the day, kicking back at this setup in gaming. Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome to my setup. I'm PC Centric, a YouTuber that makes, well, PC centric videos. And this is where I am pretty much all of the time, whether it's playing the latest AAA games or of course, just making some videos. Now at the center of all of this is undoubtedly the PC, and this is what's able to push all the pixels regardless of whether it's for work, or of course play. It features the top-end GTX 1080 Ti Poseidon and an Intel i9-7900X processor. The result is a computer that will fly through anything you can throw at it, and it's comfortably able to handle every single game I've ever played at max resolution and of course high frame rates. The keyboard I'm using here is the Corsair K63 Wireless, and I swapped out the keycaps for some premium double shot white action. It's actually a really interesting product, as it's completely wire free, yet it does it without any noticeable latency in intense gaming scenarios. To complete the wireless theme, I'm using my favourite mouse, the Logitech G703. To be blunt, it looks quite plain and boring, but this is, without a doubt, the perfect mouse for me, as it's so responsive and yet it's relatively lightweight. It's not the cheapest mouse, something that's amplified further by the really expensive wireless charging powerplay mouse mat, but there's nothing else I'd rather use right now. Now something that I think often gets overlooked is the chair, and the particular seat that I've got here is by Noble Chairs, and it's the Icon series. The colour is called Cognac or something stupid like that, but regardless, it is a really comfortable seat to actually sit in for a long period of time. It's got great back support, the head pillow is very comfortable, and all in all, it's just an excellent chair that I thoroughly recommend. But for me, the heart of the setup has to be the display, as this is what you're looking at and what will make or break the whole setup. The one I use is the LG UC99, a 38-inch ultrawide with a resolution of 3840 x 1600. I've been using this for just under a year, and it's a truly mind-blowing monitor, with a curved display providing the most immersive gaming experience I'm yet to come across. 
As for the speakers, these are the Bowers & Wilkins 685S2s, a pair of bookshelf speakers that I purchased three years ago. And I absolutely love them, as they sound outstanding, with a warm, slightly bassy sound signature that I truly adore, but I also love the fact that they're so striking, and are an ideal show-stopping desk piece for use in this studio. And so, those are the main things that make up my setup. There's a fair bit more to talk about if you're interested, so come over to PC Centric and check out the full setup tour. But in the meantime, a massive thank you to Frank for actually allowing me on his show, and happy viewing. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 121 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed, and a big shout out and thank you to Marcus from PC Centric for being on this episode. If you're digging his setup, you want to check out his channel, I'll have it listed down below for you, as well as, like I said before, all the gear and products you saw in this episode, I'll have it listed in the description. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. At last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.